It looks impossible for white here to draw. Your pawn is very far from your king, and black's pawn is also very far and he is going to promote to a queen. There's no way for white here to draw. But there is only one move and one way in order to draw here with white. If you are a skilled chess player and around 1500, you can pause the video and try to solve it. If you try to push your pawn as a first waiting move, you don't have time because he will play his king to b7 and if you promote it to a queen he will just take and black will win here. If you try to use your king from g8 to try to reach your pawn and promote to a queen, he will use his king first in b6 and if you moved your king you will not have time and black will take the pawn and he will win here. It is also the same if you moved your king here, he will do the same moves and black will win. But he will take the opposition first, so you don't use your king to reach the pawn. So whenever you try to enter this area, black will take the opposition and he will not let you take the black pawn here. So you can't move your pawn. And it is obvious that you must move your king, but you have to move your king in the only right place. So moving in these two directions is not right, and of course if you used it here, <laughs> like you didn't achieve anything because he will just promote a queen and he will win. So the only move that white can do here is to play your king to g6. You're trying to reach the black spawn, at the same time you are aiming to try to reach your pawn and try to promote to a queen. That's your idea here. So black here will play a4 to try to promote to a queen. You will play your king to f5 and it looks like you are very far from his pawn. Like he will play a3 here, like how white can draw here. Now you play your king to e6. Okay, he will play a2. Now you play c7. He promotes to a queen and you promote to a queen and the game will be a draw here. But what if he played his king to b7 here attacking your pawn? Now you play your king to d7 to protect it. He promotes to a queen and you promote to a queen and again you achieved a draw here. But what if he didn't push his pawn? He played his king first. Now your king can't reach the spawn. Now you will try to use your king to stop the spawn. He will play a4. Here is a very big blunder. If you saw that maybe playing your king to e4, that's the only trick that you can do to stop the spawn. But he will play a3. If you try to move your king, you will not reach it and black will win here. And if you try to reach your pawn to promote to a queen, the difference is that your king is not here to play your king to d7. So he will play a2. And right now you take extra move to try to promote to a queen, which black is faster here and he will win. So you don't play king e4 here. It will not work. And also, if you played your king to e6 and you think that you will protect the pawn, but he will just take this. And right now, you failed to protect the pawn. Right now, you will try to reach this one, but he will take opposition and black will win here by opposition. So here, white only move here is to play your king to e5. Now you want to go to king d6. To protect the pawn and promote to a queen and you want king d4 and to stop this pawn you want to achieve two things now if he played a3 you will not try to reach the pawn here because you will not reach it but here you will play your king to d6 the previous one your king was here you couldn't draw but now your king in d6 if he played a2, you will play c7. When your king was in d5, you couldn't play c7 because he will take with king. 
he will promote to a queen and you will promote to a queen and you achieved a draw here again white accomplished his mission if you enjoyed this puzzle like the video and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching